Picture this, a single tiny grain of sand hitting the Earth at nearly the speed of light. What happens? Einstein's theory of special relativity tells us that the faster an object moves, the more massive and energetic it becomes. As you approach the speed of light, mass doesn't just increase, it trends toward infinity. Let's assume our grain of sand accelerates to 99% the speed of light. At this velocity, its mass surges wildly, packing the destructive punch of a massive asteroid into a speck of dust. As it slams into Earth's atmosphere, there is no time for a mid-air explosion. It's simply moving too fast. Instead, the friction instantly sets the night sky ablaze. The grain ionizes the atmosphere, triggering a chaotic storm of lightning and tearing a massive hole in the ozone layer, leaving Earth exposed to lethal cosmic radiation and ultraviolet rays. The grain doesn't stop there. It punches through the air and dives straight into the Southern Ocean. The moment it impacts the water, that kinetic energy is dumped in a split second. We are talking about an explosion equivalent to 20,000 Hiroshima bombs detonating at once. This cataclysm hits the ocean like a hammer. Vast quantities of seawater flash boil and vaporize instantly. A blinding light pierces the abyss, turning the murky depths transparent for a radius of 30 miles, 50 kilometers. While the water and bedrock slow the grain down, the shock wave alone is enough to shatter tectonic plates, triggering violent earthquakes and mega tsunamis. The steam from the vaporized ocean forms colossal storm clouds, unleashing torrential global floods. In the days that follow, the superheated southern ocean melts the Antarctic ice shelves. Sea levels skyrocket, swallowing coastal cities from New York to Shanghai. Meanwhile, the tectonic upheaval sends volcanic ash choking into the stratosphere, blocking out the sun. Photosynthesis grinds to a halt. In this nuclear winter scenario, human civilization faces a very real threat of extinction. And yet, this isn't enough to actually destroy the planet itself. To completely vaporize Earth, you'd need about 2.24 times 10 to the 32 joules of energy. According to the math, a grain of sand could only deliver that kind of planet-killing blow if it moved infinitely close to the speed of light. Sci-fi fans might recognize this concept as the photide, the brutal weapon used to clean up messy civilizations in the three-body problem. But Earth is tough. In the months following the impact, the dust would settle. The sun would break through the clouds. Life, stubborn as always, would claw its way back. Fresh oxygen would fill the air, and eventually, our blue marble would turn green again.